hello everyone welcome to my channel gynecology professor so in this video we are going to talk about pcod or pcos well this is a patient education video so it is not for the medical students if you want to know about the disease scientifically or medically then there is another video on my channel the link is given in the description but if you want to stay in this video then it's okay it will be fun now the patient or general public pcod is a real problem isn't it many women know that even young girls know that they have pcod but they remain curious about this disease they have most of the time they have no idea what is happening and whether it is normal or not many girls or many uh, young uh, women uh, which cons who consult me uh, they they are very curious about whether there will be any problem after marriage that uh, will will be uh, it will be any problem in getting pregnant or not what can i do uh, what can i do uh, right now so that it can be cured once and for all right and uh, saying that i am also saying that on the markets there are various available tonics which think that or which tells that or claim that that if you take this clonic and the pcod will be gone once and for all however this is not true now you need to understand about pcod believe me this is not a big deal you will be handle you will be handling it very uh, easily right so now understand about women a woman have two specific uh, milestone the first one is menarche what is menarche menarche is when there is a first menses of uh, the woman in their life is start and it happens around 13 to 14 year of age and then comes the menopause where the menses will be stopped eventually once and for all at around 45 to 50 years of age so this is a, uh, a reproductive age of woman right now now understand about eggs so like in males the males have sperms women have eggs or ovums right there is a very interesting thing about ovum is that when a woman or when a female baby is born she has almost all ovums reserved in their ovaries it's just like a bank okay or in the ovary there are millions of ovum when the baby is born itself now there will be no new egg formation will be there that means whatever the eggs you got you got from the birth you can't generate newer ovums right so your ovaries will act as a bank and there will be millions of ovum in both of the ovaries when the baby is born right now there are three types of ovums the first one which i uh, illustrated here with the dot is sleeping that means they are sleeping they have nothing to do with anything they are just sleeping and they are waiting for their time right now second one the circle smaller circle i have illustrated is uh, meaning uh, mean by awakened eggs okay these are the awakened eggs and the third one the larger circle is a graphian egg which is the dominant egg so what happens every month every month in reproductive life of female about 100 eggs are selected which are sleeping and they are awakened every month every month hundreds of sleeping eggs are awakened and there is a competition in between those hundreds of awakened eggs and only one of them become a big ovum like here isn't it interesting is it interesting right millions are sleeping hundreds are awakened every month and there is a competition between this awakened eggs and only one can become sometimes two but some only one can become is most, most of the time only one become larger one that is called graphian follicle or graphian ovum 
right now this follicle or the ovum will rupture okay and it will make baby if it is uh, meeting with the sperm then only right so this egg the graphian egg also increases in size and it also secrete some hormones like estrogen and progesterone right so this egg while it becoming larger and larger in size also secretes some hormones and there are important hormones and these hormones estrogen and progesterone makes endometrium the endometrium is a lining of uterus inner lining of the uterus and every month when you get your menses it's in fact the endometrium that is shed every month right so and this egg which become larger if if unprotected sex is happen at that time and if the if the egg become uh, meets the sperm and fertilization happen then baby can be there or pregnancy can be conceived right now the rest awaken eggs the hundreds of eggs in which the competition was there they die right they die so now you can see that every month from the bank hundreds of ovum are recruited and only one become dominant and rest are die now the next month again some hundreds of the ovum will be awakened who are already sleeping now you understand right now the with the age in female total number of egg decreases over the period of time and when it completely empty when when they are completely empty the menopause will be there that means there will be no egg formation and no menses nothing no hormones no endometrium no menses so no periods no baby after menopause right now so to have timely periods and the baby timely egg formation every month is crucial remember this sentence if if you if you want to be your cycle uh, life cycle or uh, reproductive cycle healthy then you need to produce one egg every month in fact you are not in control of this thing but still the nature the body makes one egg every month now now what is the problem of pcod what is pcod first of all pcod is a polycystic ovarian disorder it is not fatal it is okay to have a pcod you know i got many of the patients every day they are just like oh i got pcod and now what i going to do and now i am getting i am diseased i am not normal no it's not like that pcod is extremely common and if you deal with the pcod smartly there will be at all no pro no problem will be there okay so now what happens in pcod there are lots of eggs for example generally what happens uh, we have eggs in millions okay the baby have millions of eggs but in pcod there are bigger ovaries bigger banks more and more eggs are there from the birth only so it will create hormonal imbalance and due to this hormonal imbalance the eggs at every month who are awakened every month right as i told you eggs awakened every month are awakened but they stop then they are not becoming dominant they are awakened but they are not able to uh, become a dominant follicle there is no increase in the size <clears throat> and if there is no increase in the size there will be no hormones and you won't get your periods at all or what happens in most common uh, most of the time is eggs take too much time to develop in size 
like it should ideally take around 40 to 20 days to become a dominant follicle but in the PCOD your egg taking more and more time then in that case you will have a delayed period irregular period right so so you understand now if your egg is not becoming larger every month then there will be no menses you will have no chance of pregnancy but if your eggs are becoming larger but it is taking time then there will be only delayed period but your chance of conceiving a baby will not be damaged you will still able to you know uh, conceive so most of the patient which I deal with have a milder form of PCOD in which they there is only delayed menses is there egg is formed but not every month it be, it formed a little late every month and that's why they have a delayed period but the chances of pregnancies are not decreased right so don't worry PCOD is not a big problem first of all it is not life-threatening right yes it can create problem at some times but if you handle it smartly then there is nothing to worry okay for example if you are not uh, uh, if you are not keen for a baby okay if you're unmarried if you are not still thinking of having a baby you just have delayed periods then it that's okay you don't need to take medicine every time some delayed periods are okay fine but if you think that but if you think that your period should come on time then you can just take medicines for that just consult a doctor and take medicines if you think that the period come, should come on time but otherwise i have seen a lot of women in which the period coming every two months but they are still okay with that nothing to worry in that right but yes if you are keen for baby if you want pregnancy then you need to visit infertility specialist because we as a fertility specialist we have to make sure that your egg is formed regularly and timely every month so that you have increased the chances of pregnancy minor things are also associated with pcod like hirsutism in which there is excess growth of facial hair in females that can be managed or it can be cured by with the help of medicine right Yes, PCOD women are known to have obese or the risk of diabetes and hypertension can be increased in their future life or later life, not in young life, right? Later life. Okay, so risk is increased, but only, only at about a fraction. So don't worry about that, right? If you want a baby, then make sure that your egg is becoming larger every month. Just consult a doctor or infertility specialist. If you want regular periods, then also consult a doctor. He will uh, he will assess your case and just give simple medicine, and you will get in your period regularly, right? But if you are if you are having just delayed period, then don't do anything. It's okay. It's fine. You nothing to worry about that, right? So, if you have PCOD. If the life is going on, it's okay. Fine. Let it going on. Do not interfere. If you are facing delayed period, if you think that I should have a normal period, then consult a doctor. If you want a baby inside, also consult a doctor. If you have hirsutism, just get a medicine from a doctor. If you have if you are obese, just have proper exercise and dieting so that you will reduce your weight and your weight will be not increased. That will also help right do not panic it's extremely common advice pcod were curious about baby right then you need to plan it early the girls who are actually unmarried and who know that they have a severe pcod right if you want baby in your future then plan it little early don't wait a long uh, don't wait a long right don't uh, go uh, age more than 35 if you want to plan a baby if you know that yes you are going to plan a baby in future if you are married then plan it earlier that is what my personal advice is right 
if you have any query regarding this you can just drop me an email if you want to consult me you can just uh, click on the link given in the description for online consult i will just order some of the investigation or blood reports and you will be fine in no time please don't comment okay don't comment and ask that yes i have such a thing and please uh, give me the uh, medicine i don't give medicine on comments okay this is not a good idea so do not comment just have a drop me an email or have an online consult thank you friends